So I can confirm that the New York Liberty re-signed Marine Johannes to a deal. She will be back next season to the team. There was speculation about if Johannes would be with Liberty next season. We hadn't really heard much. And then all of a sudden, Sue was back. And could they keep both of them? Which they did. To be real with you, I don't think we would have been able to compete for a title without her and Sue back. That might seem like a hot take. But winning championships isn't just about talent. Like, sure, that is the most important thing. But you also need chemistry. You need players who can do different things. Johannes, you don't just replace a 43.7% three-point shooter. She was also 10th in attempts. So you're getting a lot of shots up and a lot of them are going in. Johannes is my favorite player in the WNBA. I haven't actually been a fan of the league for even a full season. I came in with a couple of games left before the playoffs. But I noticed quickly that she was super fun to watch, just getting off shots, high accuracy, also makes a ton of highlight plays. A lot of my viewers are from France, so welcome to the channel, bonjour, I'm sorry, that's all I know in French. I don't speak the language, but I appreciate you guys for being here with me, and for all of my fellow Liberty fans, welcome back to another video. Let's dive right into it. Before I do that, actually, if you are a fan, make sure you drop a like for the algorithm and subscribe if you're new. I know I'm a week late. Bear with me. It's tough to work a full-time job and have to balance things out and also make these videos, but I'm going to keep doing it, bro. Don't worry about it. And here's the rest of the video, right? So 2021, Liberty, they missed the playoffs. They go 12 and 20. They had the third worst defensive rating. And then the year after that, what happens? They end up getting on a streak at the end. They make the playoffs and they did fall short to Sky, the defending champions, but forced a game three, went into the building and stole one. A lot of that had to do with Sabrina, who broke out 17.4 points, 7.1 rebounds, 6.3 assists, all-star and all WNBA second team. The reason why we were able to get star players like Vandersloot and Stewart, and of course going out there and getting one of the best bigs in the league, former MVP and John Cole Jones, was because they're coming here to play with Sabrina. Now that we have the stars, we need players around them. Let's talk about the NBA for a second. Remember the Golden State Warriors? When they were, well, they still are winning championships. They did last season, but it's not just Steph and Clay, right? I mean, they've got several players around them, like Andre Iguodala and Andrew Wiggins and Kavon Looney. And Gary Payton uh, the second, I want to say, is his name. So they've got all of these good players to surround their stars. And for Liberty, re-signing Maureen and Sue was a must. I'm looking at a Stephanie Dolson. Having her on the roster is a must. You need players that can do good things. They don't need to be all-stars, right? Like Maureen's not going to average, what, 20 points a game. She's not going to ever do that having a shooter out there that can come off the bench and give you a spark i mean i'd be lying if i said that i'm not just as excited to see marine play than i am any of brianna stewart the way she plays the game that's the right way to do it and you need players like that i can't stress it enough yeah sure sabrina is one of the best players in the league and is an absolute superstar first woman ever 500 points 200 plus rebounds 200 plus assist also had a 30 point triple double reminds me a lot of luka Doncic. The WNBA's version of Luka, the way she plays the game, just an incredible player. But even Sabrina is not good enough to be able to do it. Has Luka, Luka's so young, but you know, has Luka been in the finals yet? No, right? Ended up losing to the Warriors pretty badly because he can't do it on his own. And Sabrina can't do it on her own. She needs more. And that's why they went, we went out there and got stars. And back in 2019, Liberty, they weren't a popular team. You know, They hadn't made the playoffs in 2017. And they had the 10th most followers out of all the WNBA teams, and they're in New York City. So that's been obviously skyrocketing ever since really like the past couple of years has been going up, especially now, but still. Liberty, we're just in a good position. I'm super excited to see Courtney Vandersloot, who last season averaged 11.8 points and 6.5 assists. Seeing her and Sabrina work together and then the bench with Maureen and Sue and Laney is going to start. But overall, like, uh, is Michaela, I don't know if Michaela's still on her team. I think we might have let her go. I really hope not. I thought I read that somewhere. You talk about young defensive minded wings. They're hard to come by in the league. So she, I, I, I have to do more research. I mean, I'm going to do that right now, actually. Um, bear with me, guys. I have my mechanical keyboard. It's going to sound horrible, but let's see if this is reporting on. I need to know. Uh, 
Gonna find this out together. The Trader. February 13th. How am I a month late and I don't know that, that we traded her? We traded her to, on Saturday afternoon, Liberty now State officially traded the 2021 Rookie of the Year to the Phoenix Mercury in a four-way trade. We have a young team with promise, and thankfully we were able to get our players back. I mean, Sue specifically is 6'10", averaged nearly nine a game, four rebounds. Fairly good splits, 49, 44, 80, 32 games. Rim protection is the biggest thing for her, though. I mean, Liberty held teams to only 58.8% shooting inside the restricted area. So with Sue's height and mobility, I mean, Liberty, we just have the best front court in the league. And our personally, yeah, we eat that easily. I mean, Jones and Stewart and then Sue up the bench. Dulce, yeah, we easily have the best uh, front court in the league. I mean, it's just it's going to be awesome to see what happens. And outside of that, I mean, there's not really like too much else to say. I mean, we know what this team is capable of. We've got better defense. That's something that we thrived on. We were a good defensive team after being horrible. Third worst defensive rating in 2021, 2022, we were good defensively. We There were times, though, when we were out-rebounded, we were bullied down low. That's why it's important for Sue to get more minutes. But now that we have more size, we're going to be just a much better team. We also lost Natasha Howard, who I liked a lot. We lost Rebecca Allen. We lost uh, our well, one of our guards last season, Dangerfield, Crystal Dangerfield, right? I don't know. I mean, I, I like where our team is right now, personally. Uh, you know, you can't really complain. You're going to have to lose players. It is what it is. I liked our roster a lot. I feel like if we had one more piece, we'd be the favorites. And, of course, we got three more pieces, which helps. But, yeah, like I said, I uh, appreciate you guys. And let me know your thoughts in the video. Let me know what you want to see next. And... You'll be getting a lot more content from me when the games start. Um, actually, how am I? I don't know how I'm gonna watch the games though, because I don't have. Uh, I'm not in the area anymore, so I'm not gonna get the channel. We'll figure it out some way, but one way or another, you know what I'm saying. But uh, appreciate you guys for the love and the support. And until next time, all right.